What's up guys, this is T.224NYC from Stream Kings. Uh, we're actually switching gears a little bit today. Uh, we're going to do a different type of video. This is not actually a build review. Um, it's more of an application review. Um, pretty much everything that I do, I try to be more efficient at it. Um, so when we speak about efficiency, that includes um, watching TV. So how can we be, how can we use Cody um, to watch our TV shows and be more and do so in a, in a more efficient manner. Um, I recently did a review on this Durex build and um, I actually showed you guys it's underneath the favorite section um, it's right here activate track TV for Exodus activate track TV for salts or stream older sources and um, it's also underneath uh, my specto so for, for those of you who don't know, um, Track TV is just basically a service. Um, I just signed up for the free version um, that assists you in tracking your TV. And um, it actually keeps track of the shows that you watch, shows that are upcoming. So this way you don't miss anything. Um, for example, my wife and I, we watch uh, The Last Man on Earth that comes on on Fox. Didn't know the show came back on after its mid-season review because I'll be honest, um, I installed so many builds. I installed build after build after build. So quite often I forget to sign into my tracked account and, you know, things kind of get lost in the shuffle. So we realized that, you know, Last Man on Earth came, came back on again and we were four or five episodes behind. Now, if we have had our track TV linked with our Cody... Um, we'd have actually known what was going on, uh, what shows were coming on, etc. So I'm going to show you guys how to set this up within this build. Essentially, it's the same um, build after build over build over build. Um, most of the developers do include um, the tracked TV add-on uh, within their builds. And one thing else I want to point out is if you guys ever realize this widget that's usually hovering above the movie section and the TV show section and I'll even get deeper and say even in the um, the Exodus application so we see these where are these where in the world are these are these uh, TV shows coming from you know who said they're the most popular um, for example in the Exodus app if you go under TV shows or even movies for that matter you'll see most popular and people watching. Well, how in the world does Exodus know what people are watching? It's through these apps called Track TV and also IMDB. So essentially, what Cody would do for you is at the end of your show, it'll ask you to rate the show, and um, and that's it. It also also keeps account of how many times people watch the show, so that if a show is very popular, for example, Walking Dead, or in this case, um, Designated Survivor, Prison Break, The Expense, etc. Um, these are the most. These are what people are watching um, on Cody. Not necessarily Cody, but everywhere because Track TV. It also works on other platforms as well as well. Plex TV um, and, a, and a bunch of other uh, popular streaming uh, platforms. So this is the Track TV website. As you can see, I'm already signed in. So let's say, for example, I want to search for a show. So in this case, we'll call, I don't know, what, what show is good now? We'll call it um, uh, let's do Lake House. So I search for Lake House. Or not. Let's try that one more time. Or better yet, let's just do this. Designated Survivor, which we saw is on the list um, in Cody. So we have it here in TV. And then we'll go back to our Cody. And we see that Designated Survivor is on the list for the top viewed uh, TV shows. So if I wanted to add this to my collection... Or in this case, I'll, I'll actually add it to my watch list. 
it depends on how you want to categorize things. Me, I use the watch list, but you, you can use your collection. So I can add it to my collection, and it's been added to my watch list. So now we can jump back to Cody. And we'll go to our favorites. And we'll select the option to authorize a tracked account. So we'll go under authorization. And basically what Cody tells you to do is visit this website and punch in that code. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, so we're at the uh, Tracked TV, and it's asking us for the code that Cody has provided. I'm going to have to blur that out, guys. So it's 5 Edward Edward 57. 5 Edward Edward 57. 4 David Frank. 4 David Frank. We hit continue. Do we want to allow Exodus to use the account? Yes, we do. And then you'll get a message that says your device is now connected and will automatic re automatically refresh in a few seconds. So now we'll jump back to, into our Cody and we'll see that um, the account is good to go. But as I mentioned before, um, there are other services aside from Tract that um, contribute to uh, those widgets. Uh, this looks like a TMDB, uh, Tract IMDB, and the list goes on and on. So we'll go ahead and back out. Now we'll go to our Exodus. And Exodus has a uh, My TV Shows. And remember I said you can use collection or watch list. It really doesn't matter, it's right here. The bulk of my content is under my watch list. And this is everything that um, I have in my watch list now. Some of this stuff is not mine, I swear to God. I don't watch loving hip hop or none of that mess. This is like my wife's stuff, so please, no judgment. I didn't add Judge Judy or The Affair to this stuff. You know, it's okay, some of the stuff I did, but whatever. So anyway, but you get the idea. So you don't actually have to search for what you normally watch. So for example, you just come into your list, you select Uncle Buck, Uncle Buck only ran for one season, unfortunately. There was eight episodes. You click the episode you want, you watch it, and you're good to go. And you're also assisting uh, other Cody users with, you know, what's popular, and you're assisting, um, you know, the entire community with those widgets. So, for example, if everybody's watching Walking Dead, Walking Dead will be part of the, um, the actual widget up top for the most popular shows. So again, Track TV is free. Um, it's an easy way to stay organized within your Kodi. You can do it in all the applications. This dog is going crazy. Uh, you can do it in Exodus. Stream all the sources is the same. Specto. Um, it's it is it, I believe it's in Zen as well. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm going to take a look and see what other add-ons are.
Yeah, so it's mainly just the, the most popular ones. So what most people watch TV on uh, or TV shows on or even movies for that matter. Uh, because you can actually search for movies and it, it works the same way. Let me jump back into my tracked account here. So if I want to search for the movie Transformers, I can add this to my watch list, add this to my watch list, add this to my watch list, and save this. I can jump back to my Cody, jump into my favorite section. This add-on actually has it nice because you could just go into Exodus Movies, go to your watch list, and everything I added just now is right here. So, you know, you could do this from your phone. If you if somebody tells you about a show at work, um, you don't want to write it down, just jump on the app on your phone, um, add it to your watch list, come home and watch it. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was informative. And I uh, hope you got. Hope this is something that uh, you all could possibly benefit from uh, while using your Kodi. This is T.224NYC from Stream Kings. You guys have a good day.